Hi, Dave Rawlings here. Now, this is really just an introduction into some footage that I took this evening of Training 133. And please note, I'm trying very hard not to try and win as we're going through this. As, as is my partner, we're trying to work out pressures and this kind of thing. But with that trying to learn, we're also trying to replicate, obviously, that we're not just going for suicidal shots. We're trying to cover lines. We're trying to keep ourselves safe at the same time exposing weaknesses in our partner. So there's a lot more binds than sometimes there may be, for example. Um, I felt it's important to do this because people quite often come up with some really kind of weird arguments as to why 133 should be done in certain ways and it is so simple, it really is so simple. A lot of the principles that are shown in it are explained in later sources, pretty much everything is later than 133 let's face it. So it's very simple, in my mind it's very similar to an early form of Cavendish, an early form of Destreza. It's so, so simple and pragmatic. It's safer to work out where the blade is and explore whether there's an opening. It really is that simple. Now, particularly one of my bugbears, which you'll see covered in here, is people's explanations of pre-special long point. And they go into some kind of cryptic nonsense with this. And there's no need. And I'll show you how simple the application is as I use it regularly in training, training in the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's relatively BS free as we go through this. Obviously, as I say, we are training softly. We're not wearing fencing jackets and this kind of thing. And obviously we do have the modern benefit of the mask. But I hope this gives you a very good idea of how people would have been fencing in the 14th century. And I really hope you enjoy it. Take care. There. So hopefully that wasn't too complex. Hopefully you could see what I was doing. Simply there's two ways really that I use the action from pre-special, which is either to walk forwards or to walk backwards. Very, very easy techniques. You can see how I'm using circling within the system and it's necessary. It's necessary for you to be able to track properly. It's necessary for you to be able to support the sword from beneath, for example, properly. Very easy things. I hope that I get the chance to train some of you. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll post more at some point. I hate people watching me train. I really, really loathe it, but I understand that people sometimes want to. And I hope that it's been helpful for you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.